Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well, guys, today we're going to do another request, and this is a fairly simple one uh, how to model a pot with a plant in it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start off by creating a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that up. We're going to move up here. We're going to go to our poly cylinder one tab. 20 subdivisions is fine. Uh, height. That's fine as well. Caps will do zero, right? Right click the face, select the top face and get rid of that. Then switch views to our front view, right click vertex, drag select those, hit W, bring them down a little and hit R and scale them out. That is about right. Okay, then we are going to right click, go to object mode, select it, go to your polygon menu. We're going to go to edit mesh and extrude under face. And we'll do a thickness of, let's do 1.5. That's a bit much. Let's bring that back 0 0.5, maybe even less. Let's do 0, 0 0.2. That's better. Okay. We're just going to quickly check that. Right click object mode, select it and hit three to smooth that out. As you can see, we need to add some subdivision to hold that shape, but we'll do that in a sec. And then next we're going to go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, option box. Make sure you got your normal setting going on there. We're going to add an edge loop down here. Push it way down, and we'll do one there, and we'll do one right there at the top. Okay, hit Q on your keyboard, right click face, let's select that face row, go to edit mesh and extrude, hit R, scale that out. Okay. I click object mode, hit three on your keyboard. It's not bad. If you want this uh, edge to be a bit sharper, we can select it, hit one to go back, go to mesh tools, enter the edge loop tool, and add an edge right there and hit Q. We're gonna go back to object mode and hit three once again. That's much better, okay. Now, we need to create some uh, soil, if you will. So for that, we're going to take a polygon cylinder, pull that up, and we'll do zero caps. And we'll get, actually, we'll not do zero caps. We'll do five, OK? We're going to right click, go to face mode, and drag select all of this stuff until we just have the top left. All right. Select it. Set our translate values to zero. Do the same with this guy. There we go. We're going to take that guy and we're going to scale it out. So hit R, scale it out. And then hit W and push it down a bit. Make sure it's not sticking out anywhere. That's good. We're going to move in. We're going to right click at a vertex and we're going to take a couple of these vertices. And what we'll do is we'll hit B for soft select. And that range is a bit too big. So hold down the B key and a left mouse and drag to reduce that range. There we go. And let's try that again. We're going to take some vertices here, push them up, pull them down, just to make sure that that surface is not completely flat. OK. And you can spend a little bit more time on that. OK. Hit Q on your keyboard and B to turn off your soft select. There we go. Now, before we move to the plants, we're going to add some texture. So select your pot, 
come on. He doesn't want to play ball for some reason. That's interesting. Okay, what's going on? Oh, there we go. All right. Hit one on your keyboard. All right. So right click, assign new material. We'll select a Lambert. We're going to go to our checker tab in our attribute editor. It's starting to lag a bit. Oh, there we go. And we're going to select file in our folder. Um, I found a file called Terracotta. We're going to switch this guy on. Okay, so we need to tweak that somewhat. So select your object, create UVs. We're going to go with spherical mapping, which is already much better. And let's right click our object mode and hit three. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Now for a soil, select that, right click, assign new material. Uh, again, we'll do a Lambert. Hit our checkered box here, select file. And I found a file called soil. There we go. It's a bit large as you can see. So select it, create UVs, planar mapping, which already looks a lot better, but we'll go to edit UVs, UV texture editor. And we're gonna right click, go to UV, drag select that, hit R to scale. And let's scale that out so it looks a little bit smaller. There are some seams visible, but we'll have a lot of plants going on there. So maybe I'll drag it out just a little bit like that. Okay. And now let's get to our plants. We're going to go to window, general editors, visor. And I already have this up here, but you just scroll down in paint effects and watch for, uh, let's see, where'd he go? I think it was under, um, well, they're right here, but I want to show you guys where to find it. Plants mesh. Yeah, that's one of these. Okay. So we're going to go with these uh, palm leaves. Middle mouse click and drag. All right. Minimize that. And then we're going to go to our pot. And we have to do it initially on our grid. I'm sorry. Yeah. So just go back. And we're just going to left mouse click and drag up some leaves. All right. Then we're going to hit Q on our keyboard. We're going to select all of these guys with the exception of these. So object mode, select all that. Deselect your pot and your soil. All right. We're going to go to modify, convert, paint effects to polygons. All right. And then just give that a sec. There we go. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale them up. Let's go to modify center pivot. We're going to scale that up a lot. And obviously we have too much going on right now, but that's fine. We'll just uh, clean that up in a sec. So I'm going to select those, hit delete, and then I'm going to take these and I'm going to start to move that in and hopefully I got the whole thing. And that's what I thought. Okay. So select that and that these two are still combined for some reason. Mesh separate. 
we are going to drag select this and deselect that. All right. Modify center pivot. Move that over. Move that down. Move that in. And I'll just check it from my top view so I can kind of see where I'm at. And right here, let's see. Let's see what we got, okay? So I'm just gonna drag like this stuff, delete it, and one back there, and delete that. Uh, maybe we can move it just a little bit. So I'm just gonna deselect this. All right, drag select the whole thing. Mesh combine. We are going to, let's see if my pot is still looking okay. Yeah. We are going to quickly create a ground plane. Hit R, we're gonna stretch that out. And I am aware that I'm going through this fairly fast, but it's, uh, you know, pretty basic. We'll bring the ground plane down to right there. We'll just turn off the grid for a sec. Display grid that's gone. We'll right click face, select our face, right click assign new material. Let's do a Lambert. Let's make that white. Actually, why not do a uh, we're going to do a Fong E. Okay, so Fong E. Let's make that white. Let's quickly set up some light. Create light. Point light. Pull that up. Hit 7 on your keyboard to give that some effect. Control D to duplicate. Pull that over and bring that up a little. And then we're going to bring down the intensity for that one, 0 0.25. Zoom in for our render. Let's set up our render shot here. OK. We're going to go to render settings. And my system is lagging a bit. I've been doing some. Uh, Heavy modeling. So we'll just give that a sec. Hopefully that will pop up pretty quickly. There we go. We're going to select the mental ray, indirect lighting. We'll set up global illumination, quality 1.5. In our common tab, let's do HD 1080. All right. I'm going to render. I'm going to pause during the render. See you guys in a sec. All right, guys, there you go. This is a quick and easy way to model a potted plant. Uh, obviously done very quickly, but if you spend a little bit more time on it, you can pretty much make whatever you want. All right. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.